Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle how to find the square roots. Let's start. So, ano ba yung square root? So, yung symbol ng square root, ito, tingin naka blue. So, it's called the radical sign. It's also used to indicate the positive or principal square root of a number. Now, for example, meron kang square root of 16. Ang sagot doon ay 4, kasi 4 times 4 ay 16. So, square root, nun, uh, square root ng 16 ay 4. And square root naman ng 25, that will be 5. Now, the number o yung algebraic expression under ng radical sign o yung nasa loob ng radical sign ay called a radicand. So, 16 at 25, yung mga examples natin kanina, that's called the radicand. Okay. So, when the negative square root of a number is to be found, a negative sign is placed in front, okay? Hindi sa loob, in front of the radical. For example, the negative tapos square root 16 is equal to negative 4. At ang negative tapos square root 25, that will be negative 5. Paano naman pag 0? The square root of 0 is 0. It's written as square root of 0. May hita nyo sa screen. And 0 yun. Now, let's have some examples. First one, madali muna. Square root of 36. So, that will be 6. Kasi 6 times 6 is 36. Kunin may square root, that will be... Kunin may square root ng 36, that will be 6. Okay, so paano naman kung negative tapos square root of 81? So, pag ganyan... Kunin mo yung square root ng 81, that will be 9. Tapos dun mo, ilagay ang negative sign. So the final answer will be negative 9. Easy, right? Dali lang, di ba? Next, example tayo. Example number 3. The square root of 5 to the 4th power. Okay, may exponent na. Paano yun, sir? Pag ganyan, yung exponent mo, kung kukunin mo yung square root, divide mo ng 2 yung exponent. So that will be 4 over 2. So 4 divided by 2, that will be 2. So that will be 5 squared. And the final answer is 25. Moving on, let's go to example number 4. Okay, what if we have 16 cubed, tapos kukunin mi square root nyan. The square root of 16 cubed. So, paano yun? Siyempre, pag 3, di naman divisible by 2 yung 3, ba? Take note, ang 2 to the 4th power, that will be 16, right? So, palitan natin yung 16 cube ng this one. Two, the quantity 2 to the 4th power, tapos cube. So, by law of exponent, multiply mo yung 4 at 3. So, the answer will be the square root of 2 to the 12th power. So, may, para makuha natin yung square root, i-divide lang natin ng 2 yung exponent. That will be 2 to the 6. And then final answer natin will be 64. Okay, example number 5 tayo. Paano naman kung square root of 2? It's not a perfect square. You may answer it as square root of 2 na rin. Kasi kung gusto nila ng exact answer, kuha ka nila ng calcube. And you will have... Around 1.414. Yan. But normally, pag hindi siya perfect square, as is na siya, as square root of 2. Okay, next one. Product rule for square roots. Now, the product rule states that the square root of the product is equal to the product of the square roots. So, paano yun? Paano kung meron kang gantong example? Example number 1. Square root of 50. So, hindi siya perfect square. However, pwede pa natin siyang isimplify. Paano yun, sir? Kukunin mo yung factors ng 50 na may perfect square. So, that will be 25 times 2. Kasi ang 25 is a perfect square, right? The square root of 25 kasi is 5. So, yun na. Square root of 50 is equal to the square root of 25 times 2. So, in 25, kung yung square root no, and that will be 5. And yung 2 mananatili sa loob ng radical sign. Remember, product dapat, hindi pwedeng sum. Okay, so paano naman example number 2? Square root of 1,000. 1,000 is not a perfect square. 
So, hanap tayo ng factors ng 1,000 na may perfect square. That will be 100. Tapos, na-multiply natin siya ng 10. 100 is the perfect square. So, yun na. The square root of 100 times 10. Kung may square root ng 100, that will be 10. So, lalabas mo siya sa radical sign. At mananatili yung isang 10 sa loob. Yung isang factor ng 1,000. So, the final answer will be 10 times the square root of 10. Or 10 squared of 10. Okay. Product rule example number 3. The square root of 600x to the 4th, y to the 5th. Okay. Sipin muna natin ito. Uh, yung 600, kunin natin yung factors na may perfect square. At madali naman din yung sa variables. So, let's start. So, 600. So, meron, pwede natin gawin siyang 100 times mo ng 6. Kasi yung 100 is a perfect square. Okay. So, factor by factor natin. X to the fourth, wala tayong problema doon. Kasi pag dinabahid mo ng 2, um, it's an even number. So divisible by 2. Y to the fifth. So gumi natin, Y to the fourth. Tapos multiply natin ng Y. Okay? So kunin na natin yung square root nila 1 by 1. So ang square root ng 100 ay 10. Okay? Yung 6, mananatili siya sa loob ng radical sign. Ang X to the fourth mo, Divide mo lang ng 2, yung exponent ng 4, that will be 2. So, x squared. Next, y to the 4. So, divide mo ng 2 yung 4. Yung 4, divide mo ng 2, that will be 2. So, y squared. Mananatili yung isang y sa loob ng radical sign. So, the final answer will become 10x squared, y squared, tapos, yung, tapos square root 6y. Okay, ganun lang siya kadali. So, let's have a mini quiz. So, I'll give you five items and I'll... You may pause the video naman. I'll give you 10 seconds to answer this one. And, okay, again, you may pause the video and I'll give you the answer after 10 seconds. Okay? And here are the... Answers. So number one, the square root of 169 is 13. Number two, square root of 3, that is same, square root of 3. Or kung kinalkyo niya siya, okay. Number three, the square root of 250x to the fifth. The answer is 5x squared, square root of 10x. And number four, ang answer dyan ay x squared. Y to the fourth, Z, yun na sa labas ng radical sign. At yun na sa loob ay X, Z. Next one, 10 square root 4X to the 10. The answer will be 20X to the fifth. Kasi yung square root ng 4 ay 2, sa lalabas siya, 10 times 2 is 20. So dun ang galing yung 20. Okay. And that's the end of the lesson on how to find the square root. Ang next video natin will be a on how to add and subtract radical expressions. Katulad nito. 2 square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 9. Apos yung sa subtraction naman, that will be 8 square root of 25 minus 3 square root of 5. We will find out on how to add and subtract at the next video. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, or kung may asamin kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe, and also click the bell notification para abidit kayo sa bagong video ng math and language. Thank you, and I will see you again. Goodbye.